Welcome, ladies and uh, welcome, travelers, I should say, <laughs> to No Man's Sky. This is Alan Paul, and I'm obviously having trouble speaking today. Um, basically, comes I'm kind of excited. I am issuing this video in thankfulness to everybody. We have hit 300 subscribers. I am really stoked about it. Really, really happy. Um, it seems like the channel is doing pretty well. Uh, we've just about getting really really close to the 4,000 hour mark since the uh, as far as view time is concerned since the channel started in late late October um, so really appreciate everybody who subscribed to it and as I will always do anytime we achieve a certain level now you think I would do it at 250 but 250 just didn't seem right 300 seems to be an easy, a nice decent achievement we're gonna do it again at 500 I'll do it at around the 750 mark and then again at 1,000 and then after that, we're going to see how things go. 1,000 is going to be a really big thing. I'll probably end up doing a live stream in celebration of the 1,000. So what we're going to do here today, as I want to do with any of these streams, is to do what's called random portal exploration. We're just going to visit a random portal address. We're going to check out the planet that's there, see what the system's like. Just do a little basic exploration and wandering around while we talk. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm here at my alpha base. I'm actually in the Euclid system. I'm not in the Isenton. So let's go ahead and check out that portal and see where it, it brings us. And if there's any coughing you might hear in the background, this household has been struck by the what's called the Elon, uh, pardon me, Elon, <laughs> the Kentucky crud. It's just a basic general virus that's going around here and there. Um, nothing special, very, very low grade fever, um, coughing, hacking, stuffy head, you know kind of almost like flu-like symptoms but nowhere near the flu and definitely not COVID and yes we've checked ourselves just to be certain so it's really really odd but none of us in our household have actually ever had COVID um what is this three years running now and we're very curious the only thing we can think of is that it's never tested us positive and that we um could have been carriers with asymptomatic you know versions of it but I, I literally have no idea. I have no idea why we haven't caught it, considering I work with a whole ton of people in a secular job at a workplace. My wife works with the public. Uh, my kids are in school, public school, so, you know, with every single illness known to uh, mankind coming home with them, you'd think they would have come home with that. But guess not. I'm not going to say we're immune to it, but who knows. So here we are. <clears throat> Random portal. So, see so if to recharge this thing again, probably. Yeah, there it is. Every single time. I'll run out of resources one of these days charging these things. Like, I only have cadmium on me this time because of the uh, ship I've got with me. So, hopefully, I have enough cadmium to get this done. Let's just go through this real fast. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anomaly back at you, pal. I must focus. Let's activate the portal. And here we go. So the random portal address that has come up here is this one. And you can feel free to freeze frame at, at the end if you want to check out the planet I end up on. And actually, before we go through, we will turn on multiplayer. Uh, dinosaur, dinosaur... Let's see, I always call this Trivial Pursuit. Yes, I'm sorry, I know I get jokes about it, but I do call it the Triforce. Triforce again, Trivial Pursuit. Uh, and two birds, let's see if we end up at an actual planet or if it's gotta get us someplace even, someplace close. It'll usually give us a message about it. Okay, well, no messages. Let's see what happens when we pass on through. All right. Again, very, really psyched about the whole thing. Really appreciate uh, all the subscribers and everybody that's gotten on here. We've gotten comments, you know, all across the board, uh, one way and the other. Questions about this, comments about that. Really appreciate people talking to me about the sound quality. Um, 
maybe I'm too close to the microphone, maybe the gain's been too high or too low, maybe my uh, Windows has been adjusting it in the background and I don't see it. Um, so really learning a lot about this. So as time goes by and hopefully maybe one day I can monetize this and start putting money towards gear that I can add to the system here, then we will see what happens here. So looks like first contact, so no one's ever been here before. If Nelde, or whatever the name of the planet was. Ah, anomalous. Anomalous creatures here, which means there's only going to be one type of animal normally. Yep, one of one. So we're on an anomaly planet. It's got regular atmosphere. Okay. What else we got? Fauna, displaced. Flora, uprooted. Sentinels, none. And it's a metallic planet. Interesting. Well, that would explain the sheets of metal laying all over the place. Fascinating looking place, though. Whoa, okay, that's really weird. That's plant life is what that's called. Oh, I must have my other multi-tool in. Hold on a second here. There we go. Let's see what we get with this one. That's more like it. Alright. Interesting landscape. Interesting sky. Weird creatures. Okay, so it's not going to be much to find here. Um, no. Lost clouds. Doesn't give me much about the system itself. So let's go ahead and jet out of here and check out what's in the surroundings. Is it an occupied system? So we got a portal. Do we have a space station? Yes, we do. Okay. So let's pull in the freighter. If we sh if we can. All right. And if you all haven't seen my freighter before, it's Star Destroyer style freighter. All those little pickups you heard are all the frigates popping in. I got a, f a full flotilla of frigates, and I'm not going to say that 10 times fast, so don't ask. So here we go. Let's head in. We're gonna use our... Hey, sorry buddy. My ship. I go first. That'll give you the front landing space. So don't worry about it. Alright. There's all the rest of my ships sitting there. There. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that hauler. I do want to get a new exotic one of these days. So, I mean, that one's all nice and dandy and everything like that, and I really like ship back there. Uh, it's really nice, but i really not partial to the huge top fin that's on it. So I may be trading that up for a different type of exotic one of these days. Maybe a squiddy. Maybe I'll go with a squiddy for a little while. But yeah, the hauler, I think, is going to have to go. The whole purpose behind the hauler when I first got it was because of cargo space limitations, and I was going to use it for more storage, but now that that's been resolved, I don't have to worry about it anymore. So, anyway, moving on, here's my freighter. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to head up here real quick and scan the planetary probe. Check out what planets we got here. Okay, so this is where we started, if not all uh, Let's see, we got some couple alpha, an abandoned planet, so that's going to be interesting to check out. Um another abandoned planet. That's very weird. Point, point, point 16. Low atmosphere planet. I do like those. Those are fun. Uh, verdant planet. Low I've set no activity. Not quite a pl uh, paradise planet. And then we have an irradiated one. So that's the planets that we have here. I do want to check out the low atmosphere. I do love those. And I want to see what the abandoned ones are like. Uh, so that should be pretty neat too. Take a take a quick peek at those. So let's take a look around, see what kind of animals they've got, stuff like that, and we'll get started. So, in case no one has seen it, this is my freighter. I uh, got plenty of these uh, uh, fleet command stations. I got like I think three or four of them, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I got four of those. Um, obviously, appearance modifier on the ship. There's my scientist. That is my, yeah, I don't know what he's doing there, but that's my sales geck. He's the in charge of the uh, command, or commands the base, usually, if you will. Uh, i got an outside deck here that I can walk out onto and check out the ships of the fleet. 
always love this. This is just an awesome thing to do. With the planet in the background. I mean, come on, folks. This is just too cool. Absolutely awesome. Anyway, let's head back in. Uh, let's see. Of course, we've got uh, our weapon specialist. Oh, no, this is our exocraft specialist, of course. Then I've got a series of... Uh, pardon me, my, my weapons specialist. We've already gone through all those series of secondary missions. Got a whole bunch of different um, cultivation areas. Get a lot of carbon here if I'm running low. But if you've seen any of my recent episodes in regards to uh, farming, there's a reason for that. Still a core extractor. I haven't even checked out in ages. So, you know, it can pull this stuff from the surface, from whatever system it resides in. But you should always check it before you call on your freighter if you can. Because, uh, you know, well, that's an issue. Uh, still extractor. Okay, still, I've got more of those. So, I don't know why I installed so many. Never really use them. Of course, this is the, um, what do you call it? The teleport station for your exocraft. So, if you can get one of these, that would be best. Because that way you can call in your ships anywhere. Our multi cultivation here, of course. Uh, causeway, and then into the, of course, different cargo containers. Now you'll see that these say storage container and I've actually got them named. Charts miscellaneous, uh, standard upgrades of Berry Tech. Um, some of them are not named at all. Reality glitches that I picked up along the way. Alloys. Uh, this just doesn't have a name. It's just a basic container I use for throwing stuff into that I can't figure out where it goes. More miscellaneous. So we get plants, crystals, and animal. And just to give you an idea, this is what it contains. So any plants that I pick up and any things that I pick up uh, hazardly on planets and stuff like that, including nanites, yes. Uh, and I do have a couple void eggs. I keep getting people handing them to me I mean space stations. They have no idea how long I've been playing and that I've already got a living ship. But hey, you know, here we are. Upgrade modules, raw materials. Uh, those are spare raw materials. And then we get into the sentinel drops and stuff like that before we make it all the way back around. Um, I keep the refiner right out in the open where I can get to it and my portal right out in the open. I can get to it straight from the deck. I keep them in separate rooms, as well as the trade station. So if I want to do some trading, get rid of some stuff in my inventory, I can do that. The final room that I have is this upstairs room. You see that the name of the ship is the Death's Head, so of course I want to name it somewhat after Grand Admiral Thrawn. So obviously I've got to have some kind of a display area showing many of the things I picked up along the way. Um, I will fill all of this in sooner or later. I just haven't had a chance to really uh, work on that too, too much. And, of course, my own private little office off to one side. Uh, I do need to put something else in here as well. But just to give you an idea, that this is the, uh, you know, the executive lounge, if you will, the executive uh, suite, the main office. I don't know what you want to call it. So that in, is, as they say, that in regards to this whole section here, this whole freighter. I haven't really done a whole lot. I am not a big, big glitch builder. I do some glitch building on occasion, but nowhere near as much as others. So, my intent is to play the game. Uh, let's see, do we want to go Golden Vector? Let's choose a different ship, maybe. Uh, I got my two uh, Blue Divide and uh, Shinote, is it called again? Yes, yeah, Shinote which is uh, Hand of Death, if I remember correctly, in Japanese. These guys, I've never changed their names. So, uh, and I do love the fighter over there, but uh, anyway, let's go Spaceball for a little while. The Lucent Triumph. I never renamed it either. Alright. So let's see where some of these planets are. Uh, looks like we got one up that way. Let's see what we got. That's the ringed planet. So that is the airless one, I think. Should start coming into play here. Low atmosphere. Let's go ahead and jet over there and check it out. Not too far out. No, that's not what I was intending to do. Sorry about that. Just a second. Uh, let's get you up to snuff. I always like to have full charge on that. All right. Check out this low atmosphere planet and see what we got going on. I don't expect any life. And if you've ever been on a low atmosphere planet before, this is pretty much what it's like. As you might imagine, it's very similar to our own Earth's moon. Um, 
low atmosphere means we can jump pretty high. But it really is neat that um, Hello Games literally took that into consideration with the atmospheres and stuff like that of these planets. There shouldn't be anything on it normally, but sometimes you run into a planet that'll have a couple trading places that you can land on or something like that. There we go. So, as an experiment, I just hit my pulp, my uh, jetpack a little bit. And you see we float down. It makes for flying up in the atmosphere pretty high. Pretty cool. You don't get much damage. Landing, it's no big deal. Really doesn't hurt you too much. But you'll find that there's literally nothing on this planet. There's a couple of uh, minerals. There are never any plants, of course, at all. Um, but you will find, you know, deposits of some sort. You'll find your dihydrogen. Anything that's going to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, inorganic object objects is what you'll find here. But, as you can see there, you will occasionally find, most of the time actually, these whispering eggs. And just like their abandoned buildings, if I go ahead and I do that, these guys pop out. Ooh, I want to try something. Uh, let's see, where are you? There you go. Two of them at one shot. Love it. Three of them at one shot. Yeah, I'm liking this weapon a lot. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I just took out four in one shot. I don't even have to aim at them anymore. I can just shoot. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's get back to our ship and take a look around and see what we got going on here. Okay. And there we go. Sure about the little noise in the background. Had a our door had to check out real quick. Alright, so that's that planet. Not much there going on. Let's see what else we got around here. Uh well, go figure there was one right there. Uh, that's one of the abandoned planets. Let's see, the other groups are over here. Oh, that's, those are moons. Uh, Verdant Moon. I will check out that moon. And an abandoned moon. Okay. And what's the planet again? Irradiated? Alright, let's go to the Verdant Moon. I do want to take a look at that. This seems to be an interesting system. We'll stop at the space station too and see what the economy's like here. Kind of curious about that. Probably was showing on the uh, screen when I was back in my freighter, but uh, kind of tired of getting on the dark side of these planets. So let's see if we can get to a lighter side now. Go past it a little bit and come back. All right. Whoops. There we go. Oh man, we got a storm in space. No, oh, no, I can't. Uh, can't even boost, huh? Planetary interference, so I gotta kinda go the hard way here. This is a tiny moon. Oof. Alright. Now, this should have plenty of landing platforms. Anybody else? Let's head this direction. Alright. Oh, nope. The thing about a moon, if you can ever settle or get a base on a moon, it's always a great place to go because of the fact that you, uh, everything's closer together. It has the same amount of, like, buildings and stuff as any of the regular planets that are much, much larger. But, yeah, the same thing. Um, they're all packed tighter, so you can come across them quicker. As it's trying to prove me a liar right now, so, you know. 
but I'm keeping my eyes open too because I don't know when the scanner is not going to pick up on something you're trying to find. Planetary archives, uh, settlements, uh, that kind of thing, they'll all be packed tighter on a planet like this. Really? Just unbelievable. It's going to prove me a liar this time. I'm probably just headed in the wrong direction completely. Yeah, so storms here, huh? Okay, good to know. Really, not finding anything right now. I mean, I could use my economy scanner, I know, but I really hoped on finding something just right here. Wow. Yeah. I swear to you, that is really how it is, okay? Oh, I thought I saw something. Okay, yeah. Let's hit whatever that is. It's another campsite. I don't know what it is about this place, but that's all we can seem to find are campsites and no landing pads or anything like that. It's not like I can't afford to, you know, fix my, uh, or, or refuel my landing gear, but come on. Give me something here. Alright. Very nice. Hey, how about we take out some of these sentinels? I like that idea. Yeah, we'll use that. Let's take them out real quick. What do you say? Remember, we don't have to hit them exactly. Like I said, this is fast becoming a new weapon. I didn't even hit him. I didn't even hit him directly. Unbelievable. So not bad. Again, I, I'm thinking the Neutron Cannon might be the way to go. I mean, damage output is pretty good. 27,399. It's not bad. I mean, this doesn't have anything else on it right now. I'd have to upgrade the crap out of it, but... but there we go. Just shooting us to a general direction. Reinforcements. Let's go one more round and see what we get. Looks like it's already on round three now that I think about it. There we go. Just took out three of them. Two shots. Unbelievable. You know what? We can finish out all these guys. And no storm anymore. I like that idea. shots to take him out. Let's go this direction. We're going to get a sentinel walker out of this too. That way we'll just shut down all the sentinels in this general area. shot on the leg.
right. Weird antics from our cat. Nice. Okay, so I took him out pretty quick. Sorry about the uh, distraction there. Uh, I don't know what. Oh, that's just yeah. Duh. Okay, I'm all right. Yeah. Okay, looks like we got everything. Boy, that didn't take long, right? How many? I wasn't trying to do that. How many planets? We got nine creatures on the planet. A uh, little preview of what kind of ships they have around here. Not bad. So yeah, that neutron cannon, man. Right? That's what I'm talking about. I mean, it, it only takes carbon to recharge it, so I think I'm going to be putting it on my main weapon. And uh, yeah, that's going to become the weapon of choice. Uh, if you've seen my recent uh, video regarding the Walker versus Neutron Cannon, I mean, under 10 seconds. Good grief. I mean, ain't nothing better than that, right? So, anywho, this has been interesting. Let's go ahead and check out that one last planet, and then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and call it. Uh, don't want to take up too much of your time, and I want to, again, I'm doing this as a thank you to everybody for, you know, subscribing up to this point, and thank you so much. We're hoping to get, you know, much better in the future, especially as new uh, expeditions come out and things like that. We'll be covering a lot of that stuff. May even see me on Twitch. I haven't decided yet. But if they do Twitch drops, it's going to be the only place to do it unless they somehow make some kind of deal with uh, YouTube. I don't know what we're going to do here. Uh, starting to cope with the overflow and automated emergency stops about to be issued. Supply shoot, override security alert, and check coolant. I don't think coolant's going to help this. I don't want to override the security alert because it's an overflow. Let's detach the supply chute. There we go. There we go. Good deal. And I got nanites out of it. That's very nice. So, probably would have been a better option in there, but at least I got something out of it. That's cool. Alright. Let's go on to the next planet. I'm not going to take a look at all the animals here. They seem to be a pretty generalized type of animal here. Oh. That's not what I was trying to do. I've got a little... Not confused, but just a little bit. Oh, was that... I don't think it was a solar ship. No, that was an, uh, an explorer class with one of those raised arms, yes. Yep, not bad. Alright, let's take it out to the atmosphere real quick. And we wanted to go check out an abandoned planet, so... What do you, what do you want to do? You want to do the moon? I think it's that. Let's go to that one. I know it's far away. Further away, if you will. Actually, the abandoned moon would be pretty cool. Where are you here? It's down there, I believe. That's the Verdant Moon, don't we just add. We gotta send a pillar there. Ooh, you know what? We didn't check out the pillar and see what kind of weapon they had. Let's just check it out real quick. I keep getting yelled at about that. Um, have you checked all the pillars in your planet? Have you checked this, all your places in your planet to see what kind of uh, weapons they had? Yeah, because there should be, like, on the, on the place that I have my main... Uh, oh, okay, yeah. That was a bit weird. Uh, where I have my main base and everything like that. I haven't checked all the places out there, so. And, you know, looking for that S-Class multi-tool, because there should be one in the system someplace. And I never really occurred to me to take a look. I found the Royal multi-tools. At least there's that much, but. Here we go. And what do we got here? Weapons technology. C-Class Volcanic Neutron Inverter. Not really keen on it. Now, something Jason said in one of his videos, he said that once you have it, once you've found one, that's pretty much what every single uh, Sentinel Hive location is going to have from that point forward. So, like, ugh. Alright, so here is the moon of... Where's the planet it's associated with? Over here. It's on the other side. Okay. So we're gonna go over here. Oh, don't give me the planetary baloney. 
Okay, we're out of the atmosphere. Let's turn back and take a look. So the moon that we want to go to is right there. And it's abandoned, so it'll be very much like the planet that we were looking at over there. That was much, much further away. Cactus flesh, the whole nine yards. Okay. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. Interesting rock formations and stuff. Contours, if you will. Ooh, look at the color scheme. All yellow, kind of a gold color. Pretty wild. Let's just land. Okay, you got this. Thank you. Oh, and it changes as soon as you get out of the ship. That's funny. Hmm. Interesting. So that's the plants. Some of the birds, or flying creatures, I should say. We've got seven of them on this planet. Oh, it's one of those tentacle creatures. Okay, I got it. Oh, yeah, one of those really, really odd-looking biological entities. Some more previews. Looks like all Explorer class on that one. Hmm. Interesting worm-like creature. Okay. Very interesting. And definitely cactus stuff. Cactus-like plants here. That's pretty cool. It's got kind of a, a, a sharp quality to the color here that I really kind of like. I'm loving the... I mean, look at that. That is just wild-looking. And I really think that our next update that's coming out, that I don't know if we're going to get this video out before the update, but um, is going to be... I mean, that... Come on. Let's pull back a little bit. That. Right there, folks. That's No Man's Sky. If I can get the ship in the picture. Let's get the ship in the picture. Oh, that means we got another subscriber at some point. Pull up. Oh, man. Come on. I'm, lo I'm loving that. Come on. That is really, really, really neat. The picture quality and everything like that. This, this is uh, going to be definitely a thumbnail. I like that a lot. There's just something about it. Artistic view to it is just incredible. Unbelievable. All right. So how many... Discovered five of them. Um, ground and ground. So nothing underground. It's only found to the north. And where are we on the planet? Probably close enough. So we've got two more crown, ground place, uh, placed. Ground like creatures. There's a couple over there. 1200 depth. sounds like it's on the other side of the planet. That was it. That's the one. Okay, good. So there's only one more. We have uh, discovered all the creatures on this planet.
I'm just loving this view. I mean, good grief, this is incredible. Golden hue to it. How about this? What do you think? Got the stupid plant in the way, that's the problem. What do you think? I think I'm liking this a lot. Let's let that clear away. Yeah, let's go with that. That's a great picture. Good stuff. Really, really, really good stuff. What? Ugh. These tentacle guys, man, they kind of creep me out a little bit. I don't know about anybody else, but just saying. Anyway. All right. Well, I don't think I'm going to try to dig out that last creature. Um, let's go ahead and call this. I really appreciate you all being here with me. I hope you enjoyed this little quick preview of this uncharted system. Oh my gosh, look at the night sky. Hold on. Hold on. Let's land for just a moment and take another look at it. Without the... Yeah. Um, I almost want to put a base here, to be honest with you. I mean, this is really, really nice looking. What a great little planet. Let's throw one down. I mean, it can't hurt. We'll think about it. Bake base. Go to claim it. It's only a moon. I'm sure they have bad weather events and stuff like that, too. But this could just be one of those bases that we do as like a... Uh, what did I call it on my first save? I think I called it my uh, my retreat, if you will. Some place to go where you just want to chill out and relax. But the, but the golden hue here is just fantastic. I'm really, really liking that a lot. Alright, so let's rename it. Call it Anniversary. 300 Anniversary Base. There we go. Alright. Okay, I think I'm going to call it here, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Again, 300 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, we will see you again in some other video in the future, I'm sure, and I've got a lot more to come. So, instead of distant gaze, it is more like a salute. And I want to thank you all. Appreciate it. Take care. Like I've always said before, never criticize kindness. Always be truthful in all things. Thank you again very much for watching. This is Alon Paul signing off.